Okay guys, this is another integration video. This is uh, particularly for autoresponders, integrating autoresponders into ClickFunnels, mainly so that once somebody gives you their contact information, whether it's through purchasing a product or filling out a form uh, to receive some information from you, that you're able to follow up with them via a, uh, an autoresponder sequence that will hopefully take them uh, up your value ladder and ascend the relationship and ev eventually get your clients exactly what they want in terms of the result that they're looking for, whatever that may be, whatever your business may be. So the autoresponder uh, integration is automatically available for you if you're already a ClickFunnels uh, user and you're paying $297 a month. If you're uh, paying the $97 a month option, that's totally fine because you can have a ClickFunnels integration outside of ClickFunnels that you can then bring into ClickFunnels and it will work just the same as the integration inside of ClickFunnels. And I'm gonna show you how to add that integration in uh, to your ClickFunnels account right now and then also um, add uh, a user to your list so that they get on your autoresponder if they have signed up on your funnel. So I'm gonna do those two things and then um, I am going to integrate, for this particular video, I'm going to integrate Active Campaign. So there are multiple integrations you can do. Uh, let's go look at them real quick. Hi guys, this is one of almost six plus hours of videos I've added in my Ultimate Guide to ClickFunnels course. In the course, I cover everything you ever thought you wanted to know about ClickFunnels, including an introduction to ClickFunnels, the ClickFunnels layout, including funnel editor and email editor, any integration you would ever want or need to use with ClickFunnels, from payment processors to autoresponders to analytics to the Facebook ad pixel. Plus, I also cover the 22 different funnels that exist that could be giving your business the foundation it needs to succeed. And I cover exactly how ClickFunnels fits into your business and any course about ClickFunnels couldn't be complete unless it covered how to use other people's products to do affiliate marketing with ClickFunnels. I sell this course for $197 on cfultimateguide.com slash ultimate guide to ClickFunnels course, but you can see how you can get this course valued at $197 for free when you sign up for ClickFunnels today by visiting cfultimateguide.com slash free 14 day trial or by clicking the affiliate link in the description below. Thanks everyone and good luck with your funnel and marketing efforts in your business. So let's, um, we're on the dashboard, our starting point as usual and then we go to integrations on the navigation. We click add new integration and uh, then there are multiple options here, right? So if you have any one of these options, you can integrate them into ClickFunnels. Now, some of these are, do different things, but um, as far as email is concerned, we, we can take a look at these email ones right here. And uh, these are your options for email. And uh, I know uh, it's funny that Active Campaign isn't on this list. I'm gonna go ahead and just click show all because I know Active Campaign is an email uh, includes an email autoresponder. Um, so we're going to choose Active Campaign. I chose Active Campaign because it was if for the purposes of this video, um, because one, I'm not currently using a, an autoresponder outside of ClickFunnels, uh, so I had to choose one. And then two, I chose Active Campaign. I was going to select between Active Campaign and Aweber. But Aweber required me to use a credit card uh, to start a free trial, and Active Campaign didn't. It just let me use an email. I'm sure they'll market to me over the next couple of days. But I would also recommend if you're going to integrate an outside autoresponder into ClickFunnels and you have any intention whatsoever of doing uh, affiliate marketing and your current autoresponder is MailChimp, then you are going to have to select a different integration because MailChimp doesn't allow affiliate marketing um, in terms of uh, sending emails. So that's fine. Most people who use MailChimp aren't using it for anything related to that. So um, I'm going to use Active Campaign. So let's go ahead and set up Active Campaign. We click on integrations, we clicked on Active Campaign, and now we're on the integration page for Active Campaign. So it's asking for a nickname, so I'll call this Active Campaign 
autoresponder integration and then all they're asking for here is an API key and an API URL so I went and signed up for active campaign and uh, when you log into active campaign this is the dashboard you see I went ahead and created a list so that I would have one list in here with some test emails and um, more importantly though I need my API uh, URL and API key where do you get those you get those by going to settings and then you go to the option that says developer from here you can grab the URL and then come back to uh, click funnels and drop it in here so that's it for that and then for this I'm gonna drop it right here and I'm gonna say add integration so boom active campaign was successfully created so we're all set there now um, yeah so we're all set there now to get people into this integration we simply go to your funnel let's let's select one of our funnels and then we go to automation and then we say add new action we should be able to collect select an integration okay I had to pause it just for a minute and now I'm back and so from here it's uh, we're, we're gonna get out of here but we're gonna go to the opt-in page and um, click edit on the funnel and then we'll go to uh, settings integrations and then we should be able to see our active campaign autoresponder integration so that comes in and then we say add to list and then it pulls in the list that I created inside of active campaign and we're, we are all set then. So once somebody submits the page, um, well, actually, in order for this to work, there must be an email field and a submit button. And um, whenever the submit button is clicked, it must, at the very least, submit the form. So that is what is required in order for the uh, list to work. So on this page, since I don't have a form, it would not work. But let's see what's on the pop-up okay so it would work from the pop-up so I was looking at the button it says open the pop-up and then the pop-up I'm looking at it now I show the pop-up I see here it has at least an email address and at least a submit so once I click submit we can see that it is submitting the form and um, therefore we'll go to the next step in the funnel or if there's an override let's see Or if there's an override after submitting it would be right here but there's no override so it would just simply go into the next step in the funnel but we can see now that this will submit to active campaign and I would get a new lead if I filled this out right here in my active campaign so that's pretty much it for the autoresponder integration you can build out your entire autoresponder sequ sequence in whatever autoresponder you're using and then you come here you connect it let's do that one more time so you can see it you click on integrations you select the integration you just added and then you uh, choose what do you want to do do you want to add to list and then you choose the list from here and again in order for it to work you must have an email address and a submit button and the button must submit when you click it instead as opposed to going to a different URL or skipping the submit altogether so that's pretty much it guys that's the autoresponder integration with ClickFunnels and um, that is the way to do it if you are uh, not uh, if you are not using uh, the ClickFunnels uh, autoresponder integration if you are using the ClickFunnels autoresponder integration it's very simple um, there is uh, an automation tab here on the funnel page you click add new action and you give your action a name you can call this whatever you want ultimate guide to click funnels course and then you say um, this is the click funnels internal integration and then you can do an um, add to list and then uh, put them on the email list that you built inside of click funnels uh, under the action edits tag under the action edits tag right here so this would be your email list and your action funnels so when a user gets added to this uh, 
to this funnel they've submitted their information they'll get put on this email list and then they'll begin getting these um, the the emails that are in this action funnel right here so that's how that works uh, I hope that was helpful I basically covered how to do an autoresponder integration if you're doing the $97 a month plan and I covered the autoresponder integration if you're doing the $297 a month plan whether you have an autoresponder outside or you're just using the one inside of ClickFunnels so hope that was helpful and uh, in the upcoming videos, we're going to cover uh, in integrating Zapier and or integrating payment processors into your ClickFunnels. So thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.